I have over an hour on this battery. We should be good. Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with a new quilt. Cheesy Mice Quilt. You'll know why I'm calling it that in a minute. I am not ready to start working on this quilt, but I want a video for tonight, so I have a printout for you. And I thought we'd get started by just going over this, and I'll send you to go print it. You can start looking at fabrics, and um, then we'll get started with it next week. Cheesy Mice, I have a fabric panel that I've been uh, having on my flash sales for a few weeks. I had a whole bunch of them, and I've sold quite a few, but I have a lot left, and I thought I am going to do a video using a fabric panel. I don't think I've done that. Yeah. Oh, I did once, a tree in the center of a quilt. Remember that? I'll link down below to that. That was pretty cool. I also had these on eBay, but I pulled them now because I don't know if I'm going to sell just the panel or if I'm going to actually try to make a more complete quilt kit. I don't know. I won't know until the next episode because if I decide to go... Uh, full on with the whole kit. I have to go shopping for fabric because I don't have any long enough yardage to make kits, that many kits. So we'll see. But this is it. And it's a mouse with cheese and a mouse with cheese and a mouse with cheese. So I called it cheesy mice. We're going to be cutting these into three individual blocks, or at least I am. And I'm going to be using it for the center column of this quilt. This is going to be a rag quilt. A rag quilt using panel pieces. So that's pretty awesome. I think this is on my blog, darlingmishu.com. I'll have the link down below and you can print this. Now what I did to print it is I just right clicked. I mean, I'm on a computer, okay, because I'm old fashioned like that. No devices for this girl. I right click and then I uh, open up the image and the image comes up big and then I print and then I change the scale to I think 160 I can see and I just keep making it bigger until it fills the page and I print easy as that I don't know if it's as easy as that for you guys but you know I'm sure you can print it some way I also give you the sizes of the blocks in that uh, post I want to explain this is a rag quilt so instead of you know, counting how many inches the finished block is these little squares are an inch each Instead of adding just a half inch to the finished size so that you can have a quarter inch seam allowance on, you know, on all sides, we have to add an inch and a half because we're going to be doing a three quarter inch seam allowance for what we're going to snip to rag. Some people do a half inch. I don't know. I just don't like it with a half inch. It's not enough fraying for me. And an inch is quite a a lot so I went with three quarters of an inch so you don't have to worry about the sizes of the blocks like I said it's in the post and it tells you how many you need to cut of each since we're doing a rag quilt we're going to need these cut and a piece for the back also so here's what I'm going to be doing I am going to and again I don't have my fabrics picked out yet but I'm going to be having my three mice here and then obviously on the back side, I'll just be using regular fabric. And I'm just going to try to pick some light fabrics or not. I don't know. I might use what I have. I might go shopping. It depends on, you know, what I can come up with for an idea of how to cut these quilt kits if I decide to do that. Each piece, and it tells you this on the blog post, each piece, you know, needs uh, the front and the back. As for batting... I don't know what I'm doing yet. I haven't gotten to that point yet. But if you want to do batting, you can do flannel if you'd like. And you would also need a piece that size. Whatever you cut would need a piece of flannel for the center. If we use batting, polyester batting, that's a no-go for this. Because when you use polyester batting, that doesn't fray at all or roll or anything. So you always have to cut it smaller than the block. And I don't want us to be going through that work. And when you cut it smaller than the block, it doesn't get caught in the 
you know, stitching. So you have to do like an X or you have to tack it down. You have to quilt it somehow. These pieces are not all that big, so we won't have to do any actual quilting. Even if I use cotton batting, I'm going to catch the cotton batting. I'm making the cotton batting the same size as the square. You can snip it. It doesn't fray, but it does like kind of roll back. I've seen it. You know, it's an option. So maybe we'll do that this time. I have not yet used cotton batting in a quilt project. So I'm anxious to try it. But again, I don't know exactly what I'll be doing. But you can at least use this and start finding what you want for fabrics. And on the back side, you could go with all just one print if you want. You'll still have to cut the squares so we can sew them together so we can rag. But um, again, I don't know what I'm doing on the back. I don't know if I'm going just with all one print or not. And then when you go look at this on my blog, it's in color, but just ignore the colors. I just put any old color, like I have blue, green, and pink, you know. Um, and also you're going to see these dark black lines. That's not any kind of sashing. That's just where we're going to be ragging. That's the lines that we will be snipping on. There shouldn't be too much snipping. And this is small. It ends up being 36 by 45. Because it's like a kid print, the little cheesy mice, uh, I thought I'd make it kid size. And uh, I think that's going to work out good. So let me think. Is there anything else I want to tell you guys? I have to think. I do have something. When you go to that post, you'll notice this time that I have a link to my Patreon. If you guys like the fact that I am, you know, creating these designs and letting you print them, please consider being a $1 per month patron to help support the time that I put into this. <laughs> it's a lot. I enjoy it, but it's a, you know, it's time consuming. Yesterday, it's pretty much all I worked on. I had an appointment. I was tired after, and I just, uh, I was like, okay, let me design a quilt because I had nothing, nothing for tonight. And I thought if I can at least talk about this quilt, then I'll, I'll have a video and we'll get started that way. And I like that. I like to be able to explain to you what we are doing next. But yeah, if you become a $1 per month patron, it doesn't get you into the fabric sales, my flash sales and frenzies. You're not an exclusive shopper, but it certainly helps to support these things that I do. And it also gets you the free daily ebook list, the daily list of free ebooks that I've been putting out for a long time. I used to have it on my blog all the time, but then when I started with Patreon, I thought... I'm going to put it there, and it's a perk for $1 patrons. Now, if you're a patron at the $5 level or a, a YouTube member at the $4.99 level, then, you know, obviously, you're already supporting the stuff that I do. So thank you very much for that. But if you'd like to support me in some way and you don't want to do the 5 bucks per month, you can do a dollar per month if you'd like, and that supports me in a very big way. I like the dollar patrons. It adds up, and it makes it worth it. So anyway, yeah, I mean, I'd like to continue doing this, but like I said, uh, you know, sometimes it just it becomes a lot, and it's like, should I really bother with this? You guys can let me know. If I get enough people supporting it, then I know you guys like it, and I can continue doing it. How's that? If I don't get enough support, then I just don't have to do it. I can just tell you the sizes in the video, which would really make life easier for me. <laughs> but I, I think that you probably appreciate this. We'll see. I'll let you guys decide if you appreciate it or not. Okay, I guess that's pretty much it. Like I said, I will let you know um, if I'm going to just offer this or if I'm going to try to offer a kit. And then I didn't know if I should offer just this and then the rest of the fabric separate in case you want this but you don't want that. But then there will be some that would want the whole thing and one might sell out before the other. So I'm just going to decide and you're just going to have to put up with whatever I decide. I'm kind of leaning toward a complete kit, but minus the batting, I think that would be way too much cutting for me. And um, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. I have a whole roll of batting that I wanted to sell, but it's so bad thick and big and heavy that it's like, how can I make it feasible to send this out? I mean, it's like, 
<laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I over shop and then it's like, this probably wasn't a good idea, but I'll figure it all out. I would like to provide a kit. I think that would be cool to have the, you know, the panels, the cheesy mice and the fabric. I might not pre-cut all the squares. I could just cut what you need and then you guys could do your own cutting. Again, it's a lot, a lot to think about. I really shouldn't just be thinking out loud because now I'm just telling you all my ideas and some of you are probably hearing things that you'd like it this way but not that way and you're going to feel compelled to find a way to tell me what to do and I really, really want to just make these decisions all on my own. I know people love to help and say, oh, you should do it this way, you should do it that way and it's like, you know what? You're one person who feels that way. Everybody... <laughs> feels differently. The only person I can go by is how I feel. Do I feel like doing it? Do I think it's the best best way for me and the best way for the overall population out there? So just let me make my own choices. I'm doing a pretty good job up until now and I think I can continue to do that all by my lonesome. But So let's just uh, end this video here. Go see the links down below and I will be back in one week and we'll get started on this quilt. Bye!